Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to use TCL automation in combination with Matrix Browser. So for those who do not yet Matrix Browser, we have some other videos on the YouTube channel which allows you to get some information about it. So let me just quickly go to the point about this macro. So let me ask for hyper mesh data uh, and I want to query from elements. So I will pick the elements, and for this case, I will just pick the elements, uh, the green elements. And once you have these green elements, what you can do is select this column, then you get access to the element attributes, the data name, and here I will pick center X, Y, Z, and let's query. So here you can see that I have access to center, so it has started to center Y, and I will no, not to be deal to me center Z and center X. And now what I want to do is to express um, the center X, Y, Z coordinates, not uh, with respect to the global origin of the model, O, 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 but um, from the system which is uh, assigned to the element nodes. So uh, this is the reason why I selected this screen. Um, component here, it's because it's cylindrical, it has a cylindrical system on some of the nodes. So I want to express these centers um, with respect to this uh, user system. So for this, the first step is to request for some extra information. Um, starting with one of the nodes of the element, I will pick node 1 because I'm pretty sure that in all of the cases my element will have at least one element. And from this element, which is green, that means it has attributes, which I can um, request for, I will ask for getting the input system query. And then if I look, if you look, um, there's some input system, one are null, and, if, and again, this is in green, so this can be, um, we can ask for attributes of this one. Not the purpose here, but as long as it is green, you can request for attributes. Now, what I want to do, I want to create a TCL procedure which will allow me to uh, recreate information. So let me create um, a procedure. So it will be a TCL um, function, so it will be a procedure. So I will click on query. Here you have... Um, a function which allows you to populate uh, um, or to generate a TCL file. The TCL file can be written directly here or it can even be saved into an external TCL file and then called using the source command. So um, let's say that I want to start with get x local coordinate and um, I want this to be uh, with no arguments, so this get x local coordinate I will keep it as my function here control v and now what I need to do is to browse for the different uh, columns especially using <coughs> this information matrix browser uh, get column with a column level and what I will do is set uh, x chord vector, let's say, uh, and I will set it as sorry, open square bracket, close square bracket, because I will inside here a valid TCL command starting with matrix get column and center x, which is a name of my uh, column of interest. I will do the same for the y chord vector, for the z chord vector, the y, center z, same here, y chord vector, z chord vector, and uh, last but not least, set system vector. And I want uh, same case here. And now let me create a local x empty vector. 
And now let me loop over these two, over these four vectors. And here, sorry, I forgot to replace center z by input system. You may have noticed already. Uh, input system without a set. So now I have a local x. Uh, and now I will use a for each, and I don't want to have whole combination. I want um, the vector to, browse, to be browsed for first index of each of the vectors, and the second index of each of the vectors, the third index of each of the vector. And for this, I can use for each, and I do not, I won't use nested for each loops, but I will set them together for each. Uh, let's say x um, value. Dollar x cos vector. Oh, let me keep my uppercase co odd vector. Then I can set y value dollar co odd vector. So y value dollar y dollar vector z value. Dollar z core vector and syst dollar system vector. Open curly brace, close curly brace. So we have a fridge. And here, what I will do is um, I'll open, so I will complete local x with hm underscore x local point uh, if I look at my online help sorry no if I look at my online help it allows me to um, compute the x local x coordinate regarding a system with the original x y z value so local hm x local point let me do check yeah Point local, sorry. And I will use dollar syst, which is the system they define here. Dollar x value, dollar y value, dollar z value. End of square brackets. And then I, in the end, I can return to the look at x. So if I hit OK, OK, system zero was not found, so I should rewrite it with the. Um, with a check on the system, which is to say, if the um, if there is no system, we don't want uh, the operator to be computed. So let me um, just pause the the video. Um, uh, the time for me to open the code into uh, a text editor, and uh, I will show you then how to quickly repeat it with this check. Okay, so um, I've discussed with one of my colleagues and we optimized a little bit the macro. So um, first step, so we're still requesting for the center X, Y, Z and input system information. Uh, we're still creating an empty vector which we will populate with HMX, Y, Z point local. Um, but we added this check to say that if the system ID is null, instead of computing local x, y, z, we will just return the original x, y, and z value. So let me first uh, show you this one. I have three other procedures at the bottom that I will just mention after. So let me go back to, uh, so let me right click, copy to clipboard, the full name. Let me go to hypermesh. Let me Go to user data, create query, which will be, um, I can keep the comments here, so just source, control B, replace 
the backslash by slash and um, just make sure that I call the correct um, procedure name so this one control C control V and let me hit uh, an OK and here you see that populates me one cell with um, X, Y, and Z being in the same cell. Um, for convenience purpose, maybe you would like, instead of having this one, you would like to have one column for local X, one column for local Y, and like one column from local Z, which is the reason why um, I define this X, uh, Y centroid, and Z centroid as three different um, procedures uh, so that if you go back to hypermesh I can create a new procedure source let me do it from scratch uh, let's pick file um, copy to clipboard full name control V is it saved by the way yeah it is saved and replace backslash Slash. So now either you have one cell with three columns or you can have these three cells, one for each information. What you can say now is I, you want to save it. Um, get local coordinates and matrix, get local coordinates, let's say, okay. So that now, if you say that you're working with a new worksheet, yes, uh, let me go to macro, run, uh, let me matrix, get local coordinates, okay. And here I have a question, what are the elements I want to select? So I can pick by component, for instance, okay, validate, okay and the matrix will be populated automatically. So hope uh, that helps you have a better vision about how we can couple TCL and matrix browser and the macro will be available on our community if you want to download it. So thanks for recording, so having reviewed this video and uh, see you later for, for another video. Goodbye everyone.